Good morning everyone. Welcome to my first hiking training video. Not my first hike, my first training hike. She's coming to talk. It's very early. Actually it's not that early. Um, my first video of me doing some hiking training. I'm starting at the beautiful Nipmaluk National Park campground. Just do a bit of a You'll have to forgive my videoing skills, I'm not very good at this yet. I've been one to really video myself and now I have a YouTube channel, which is kind of weird. Anywho, um, I'm planning on doing between seven, 6 and 7 k's today, hopefully. Um, it rained last night, so it's actually nice and cool this morning, so I'm hoping that it stays that way and the sun doesn't come out and it just gets really humid because it would be awful. But, you know, what do you do? So I'm not going to film this whole thing because that's like over two hours. So I'll just do bits and pieces as I go along and yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, so just went past the visitor centre heading down to the boat ramp where they do the tours and everything from. So this is a nice paved walk. Um, Not a bad spot. Not sure if you can hear that, but that's the river on the other side of those trees. Um, but it must have come up a bit because it's quite loud. Hope we go down and have a look at it so I can show you all. Okay, so the river has come up a bit. It's not too bad though. I'm not going to get too close because. A week or two ago they pulled a almost four metre croc out of here. So, you know, I'll just look from a distance. And then that is looking back up the boat ramp. And that's the little ramp they use to load passengers when the river's really high. Probably not that interested in that, but anyway. Okay. And this is the beginning of the southern walks and there's someone in behind me blowing leaves which is really annoying okay and so we begin now this path can be a little slippery after it's rained so i am going to the top of that escarpment and then I'll come back down and then I'll go back up again just to try and get some of that elevation training I'm slipping already it's quite dangerous actually kind of needs like a water blaster to go over it to get rid of all the moss <sighs> starting to huff and puff already I'm really quite bad at this filming thing, aren't I? Sorry about that. Alright. It really is quite beautiful through here. Just being really careful, make sure I don't slip over. You can hear me huffing and puffing already. Go through the little Rock tunnel. Start 
starting to get a bit of a view already. A few birds flying around. Now, I just want to show you. Teresa, this is the rock. So I was telling my friend Teresa that the first couple of times I did this hike, doing this training, I went up to the top and then came back down. And then coming back down, I was going past that rock, oops, which is there now, and I couldn't remember going past it. I guess I just blanked out. But there's some people that are coming behind me now, so I'm just going to pause this. So I was just waiting for those people to pass, and I just thought I'd show you this. That's the top of the escarpment. Doesn't look that high, does it? But oh, it really is. And onwards I go. It's Brooksy in a boat. Okay, so this is my usual first stopping point. As you can see, probably here I'm quite puffed. Yeah, the stairs and I've just come up that's where I came from over there but it's not a bad resting spot okay resting spot sorry about the fingers number two see I'm slowly getting higher see the river down there Before when I used to do this hike, not just for training, but just to go for a walk, nature has provided the perfect seat right there where you can just sit, take in the view. And if you get here early up in the morning, probably not at the moment because the river's up, but if you get here early enough in the morning, you can usually spot a crocodile. You must live somewhere in there. Just a little freshie that swims, heads back up that way, up the river, which is always really cool. I forgot to, sh I forgot to show you when I stopped on my first spot, but this is where I'm going. That's where the path goes, up there. Might be able to see some handrails through the bush there. And that's where I'm going. Okay, so I made it. There's a couple of the tour boats down there. So this is from the lookout. Normally I don't come to the lookout, I'll just go straight back down the stairs, but I did want to show you the view. You know how at the beginning I said I hope the sun doesn't come out because otherwise it's going to get really humid. Well, the sun's come out. Oh well. And get quite hot and humid and it already is actually okay so back down again okay so first up and down finished and now I'm on my way back up again this is thrilling stuff isn't it viewers back to the slippery bit oh well okay so resting spot number one the second time I'm not huffing and puffing quite as much because I've been here for about 30 seconds or a minute catching my breath before doing this so you wouldn't have to hear me coughing and spluttering now this is what I didn't show you before <coughs> so this is the next part of the path after rest resting stop number one going up to resting stop number two so it is literally just rock stairs up there okay so I made it to the top of the stairs for the second time it's kind of getting really hot 
But the fun fact is that this isn't actually the top of the escarpment, even though it looks like it, because the hill just keeps on going and going. Isn't that fun? Up here. So, off I go. Okay, so I've just stopped for a quick minute because I had to get my new trekking poles off my backpack. How cool are they? They are from my awesome friends, Teresa and David. I had been using Steve's trekking poles, but um, they decided I needed my own. And they're awesome. I'm so happy with them. They have... If I can show you this. On here, right there, that is a shock absorber. So it's like this rubber grommet type thing. So it's a shock absorber as you're walking. How cool is that? Thanks, Teresa and Dave. You guys are awesome. So I just wanted to show you these beautiful grevilleas that are flowering all along this track at the moment. And these other flowers. I don't know what they are, but it's so pretty. It's just such a shame that most tourists who come up here don't get to see these and they don't get to see the beautiful green lushness of the wet season. They come up here when it's dry and I get it, you know, the, the weather's a lot nicer in the dry. But you know, they come up here when it's all black and brown and black from the from being burnt out. And it's just so beautiful this time of year. You know, onwards and upwards. Yep, the hill still is going. Okay, I have made it to the top of the hill. Hooray! That is... The water tanks that you walk through, those tanks supply all the gorge and all the houses down there with water, but I didn't film that because, you know, it's ugly. Oh, there's a tree. So that's the visitor centre down there. Let me see if I can point this out. My finger. That's the visitor centre. And over there is Cicada Lodge, I think. Oh, didn't focus. I think that's Cicada Lodge. And then if I go this way a bit, over there, from there, here's where I started. That's the campground. Okay, onwards. Okay, so, just come from that way, which is what I call across the top. Um, it's not too much hills. I mean, it's a little bit uphill, but it's pretty flat and easy, so it's not too bad. And now, I am starting my descent. Some more of those amazing grevilleas. Trying to not be too wobbly. Just beautiful. Oh, there's one right there. I've got my trekking poles on my wrists, which seemed like a good idea because then I didn't have to keep taking them on and off, but I keep kicking them, which is moving my hand, which is making it really bad to film. So sorry about that. Okay, down I go. Now look, waddles have joined the party as well, or acacias. Oh, nearly tripped over. Note to self, look we're going, not we're filming. And now he does it again. Awesome. Okay, so this is <clears throat> getting a bit steeper here. And I just went down a little bit. 
And this is the bit where my knees have been hurting quite a lot going down. But today they're not. Yay! I am getting stronger and fitter. I feel a lot better today actually. So doing that workout during the week definitely paid off. So I did legs on Monday and then I did cardio on Wednesday and Friday. So I'm getting better. So that's awesome. My feet are a little bit sore today. Um, but that's kind of self-inflicted. Steve and I had a cheat night on Friday night. So, you know, can't really complain about that because I did it to myself. But they're actually holding up pretty well, all things considered. Um, so I'm still planning on going down to the bottom of this hill. So it goes around the corner and keeps going down and then coming back up and then going down again. <coughs> so here I go. Really bad at filming. I get better at this. Yeah, I think that's probably enough, otherwise I'm gonna make you all seasick. Uh-oh, stream crossing! Haha. <laughs> Compared to what I'm gonna have to go over in Washington, this is nothing. This is a puddle. But very pretty. The water's so clear. Oh, and it'd be so refreshing to dunk myself in that right now. I'm just gonna keep filming here for a little bit because down further. Oh, that's not. Oh, there's a waterfall. It's not the waterfall I was thinking of. That's a different one. So pretty through here. So this is the rest of the downhill. It's that stream. Okay. Alrighty. So. Coming up to the other waterfall <gasps> and another stream crossing. Oh no! Ah. Okay. That is the stream. I was wanting to dunk myself in before. And over here is the waterfall. How pretty is that? Especially more water coming down it than last week. It was in that rain last night. Come down. Stream crossing! Who joins that one? Oh, they look so refreshing. If Steve wasn't waiting for me back at the visitor centre <coughs> to have breakfast, I probably would dunk myself in it. It's getting quite hot out here and humid. I better not. Because he'll starve. So. Across the stream I go and onward. Just saying, perfect pool for dunking. And look, you can even get a massage from the nice little waterfall there. Maybe next week. Well, not next week, week after. Okay. I have made it to the bottom, about to start going back up again. That is a oh, tree. But that's it there, going up. I'm really going to want to dunk myself in the stream after this one. So that's where I've just come up. Whew. Puffed. And then flattens out a little bit. I mean, it's still uphill, flattens out a little bit, and then it gets steep again. And then I get to turn around. And go downhill. Yay! Oh, there's that amazing stream. Okay, so get the camera right. I have made it probably two thirds of the way up the hill, and I'm going to call it quits because it's getting really hot out here. And I think I'm going to get heat stress if I keep going. I'm already getting a bit irritable. I just told my water bladder mouthpiece to fuck off because it got in the way. So I'm getting a little bit irritable, which is a sure sign of heat stress. So I think I'm going to call it quits and turn around and go back and have breakfast with Steve and then cool off in the aircon and rehydrate because I think I'm probably a bit dehydrated. I've been drinking plenty of water, but it's just hot. At the top of these escarpments it gets 10 degrees hotter than what it does down the bottom um, 
and I just saw some people starting to walk towards Southern Rock Hole, which is just silly. Silly, silly this time of year. But anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And I will do a wrap up probably when I'm back in the room in the aircon. Okay, so I made it. I have now had a shower. Um, I've also already had breakfast with Steve because like I said he was starving and now I'm sitting on the veranda of one of the chalets where Steve's staying while he's working out here and just having a nice cup of tea and relaxing after my hike. Um, I was, did pretty well, I was pretty happy with how I went. Um, I should have started it earlier, uh, it just got too hot but so hard getting out of bed when it's early. Anyway, um, so yeah, no, I did pretty well. Um, one thing I was disappointed about, I didn't get to use my pea style. Um, so that is a female urinary device that allows women to st pee standing up. Now that may sound like a bit of an odd thing, but I had to order the one that I wanted the pea style from America and it took like probably three weeks to get here. I was so excited that it got here and it arrived. Wednesday or Thursday um, and I took it on my hike today but I didn't need to use it so I am going to do a full video on that don't worry you'll have plenty of warning if you don't want to watch it I'm not actually going to use it on video don't worry but um, have to hold off on that because I haven't been able to field test it um, so oh well but it's actually probably a bad thing because it means I'm de dehydrated. Um, but I said that earlier. Uh, it was very hot up there and I sweated a lot. Uh, so, uh, like I said, I should have just got up earlier. So yeah, um, won't be another. I won't be doing another hike next weekend because we're going to Darwin for my birthday. Yay! Um, so it'll be the week after. So I'll have to make sure I go to the gym and do lots to make sure that I don't just stop um, and keep up you know keep up the improvements you might be able to see behind me this really nice bush setting so nice out here before I started doing my hiking training if Steve had to come out here for work I would stay out here and then just in the morning just sit here and have about four cups of tea and just watch the birds which are all in those trees behind me and I love bird watching so I'd just sit here and it was just so peaceful it amazes me that the people that live in Catherine that have never even been out here, done a cruise or anything, so yeah, but it's beautiful. Alright, well that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope it wasn't too boring for you. And I'll see you next time.